Hey everyone, this is here again. Now we're talking about error handling. So error handling is, uh, we don't want to have the, have a error box pop up. That's kind of, that's, uh, that's intrinsic to or Excel specific. So we want to have a little bit more, something a little more customized. Maybe a little form that pops up saying uh, that, that we've customized or uh, little message box have we pop up that that says something different or you want to want to email yourself or uh, if an error occurs if a user if an error or you want to want to give a certain phone number out if a, an error does does pop up in an application and uh, so and and of course you you don't want to you don't want the user confused so error handling does customized error handling does work and it's very very helpful it's something you really need to know so here we have a, a simple error and uh, the, that in the program it counts an error and we're gonna have a simple way to handle an error so if you look at the the, the uh, read text files read text files uh, program or watch that video you're gonna see a little bit more uh, complex air handling air handling in action but and you're going to see this as a part an error and how to handle an error okay so i have public sub error sample okay let me go ahead and step through the code here okay error sample so we dimension something in error int number so first of all we we want to tell it if you have an error where to go Okay, go to a label called air handler well here's a label it's uh, if you're familiar with basic you know about labels okay go to this go to line 548 go to line 6 if this go to line this if that go to line that <laughs> okay so we have a label here if on air go to that label so now we're we're gonna incur an error for int number any any number divided by zero is gonna be uh, an error. So uh, we're gonna have an error that's caused by this three divided by zero. Do it in your calculator; it's, it'll be a mess. And then you want to have an exit sub. If if there was no error, okay, then exit the sub. But if there is an error, I want to handle it. Okay, so this is like a garbage collector. It catches the error, and then I can deal with it. Division by zero. Okay, that's my error. Bang. So that's the way you handle the error. Now, so so again, we have a we still want to go to the error in a label. Here we have an error. Here's our label. It falls into the trash can where we can better deal with the error. Notify the user of the error on the number. Okay. ERR is the error object. It has a it has a number of number of properties. It has a uh, an error clear okay method and it has a description property help contents property. But here are the most uh, most common ones: uh, error dot number, error dot description, and these are the ones I use the most. Okay. Again, I have uh, this is really important. Make sure that you put the X's sub here. Uh, make sure you put the X's sub here. Because if there's no error, we don't want to run the error handler code. Okay, I'm going to swap this, swap this. Now I don't have an error. Okay, now I don't have an error, it says zero. Then I don't want to run the error handler code. What if I don't have this here? What if I don't have exit? So I'm going to rev it out, and then it goes down here and tells me I have an error. Using some weird box, so that's kind of confusing to the user. They don't know what's going on. 
questions. They said, why do you give me the message box? It works at the flow. So we're going to cancel out the error by using the exit sub. Instead of having the message box telling everything's all right. They think, you know, it's mentality, psychological. If you get a, a message box saying error and you really don't have one, you're going to like, hey, I messed up or what? So anyway, uh, do this and make sure you put the exit sub here. Okay. Great. Well, that's error handling. And uh, be sure to include your applications. Thanks and talk to you soon.